Hey guys, welcome back. I am having some sweet potato madness going on right now because we're all thinking, okay, what do we plant and how do we plant ahead? So we want sweet potatoes for usually the end of the year, like when we're baking pies and things like that. And my grandmother, who has passed down the recipe to my mom, has the best, I'm telling you, number one sweet potato recipe in all the lands. No joke. But in order to do that, I wanted to see if I can grow sweet potatoes as fresh as possible to see if we can even kick up that recipe up a notch just for having fresh sweet potatoes. Because by the time they get to the grocery stores, they're more aged, as you can say. And I wonder if that will affect the flavor if they're fresh. So I have two already in this glass, which I've never successfully been able to do before, but I have successfully started growing slips and the one that you see probably on the right side of your screen, my left, <laughs> but it does have some sprouts. So I'm going to get up a little bit so you can see. Nope, not up, up. Yeah, you're going to need to angle it down a bit more. There we go. And that up there are the little leaves that are poking out are supposed to be slips. So eventually, They'll grow long and tall enough that I can take them out, like you, like pull them out somehow, and there's roots inside the potato. And I'm going to use those as my slips. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. So these were one whole potato. No, sweet. <laughs> no. I think we might have to take this cut. I might have to take it too, because this is not a take a do. I might actually go okay, get a stand because this is taking too long. No, no, no. I'm... Okay. I don't think that wasn't that. It's the fuck. <laughs> Brussels sprout seed. Look, it's right there. Don't eat the seed though. It's right there. Look, look at the seed. Look. Okay, you want to look at my potato? Look at my potato. Okay, so these two potatoes right here are sweet potato seeds that I got at like Lowe's or Home Depot. And you get like maybe one or two in a container. And you're supposed to take your potato seeds, it says on the instructions to cut it in half. And then you can put toothpicks basically to let it hover above the water level. But I don't want to waste that much water. So I literally just cut it in half. And I put half in one and half in the other. But the thing is, is I was determined for this to work. So I found one that was already had sprouts like I showed earlier. It already has sprouts coming out of the potato, had what we consider to be an eye. And that eye started growing its own leaf structure. So I'm hoping that because it already had an eye on there, doing the water method will, jump, will help get it started faster. But I've been hearing that it's actually even better if you take a container, whatever container, this is one of my plastic containers that I don't like and I want to reuse it, I don't want to throw it in the trash, trying to reduce, you know, <laughs> plastic waste and the, you know, dumps. <laughs> I literally dropped my sweet potato. <laughs> it bounced and I caught it. It goes to the waste landfill and whatever. I don't want, I want to reduce as much plastic that goes to the waste areas. And so since I don't want to throw this away, I was like, you know what? I have this other potato seed. Why don't I just stick this in the container? But in order to do that, I have some moist potting soil. I'm going to place it inside this bottom of this container. I'm going to move some stuff out the way so you can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and add some in there. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. It just needs to nestle in there with the potato. There we go. And then I'm gonna nestle my potato just right in there with it. And that's all you do. So now that I have that in there, I don't know how long this will take. Like I said, the potato that actually had one in there is growing multiple shoots now, now that that eye was already initiated. But the other half did not have an eye on any of it. And it's been sitting like this for about a month. And as you can see, there's still no eyes 
on any of it. It has some bumps and ridges, but that may have already been there beforehand. I'm not too sure. <laughs> but there's nothing on here that suggests that anything is growing. So I heard that the water method seems to take a little longer than the soil method. So like I was mentioning before, I wanna try and get as many sweet potatoes as I can because my mom uses the recipe to make every one a sweet potato pot. We usually get like one or two of them. She'll have like one or two for herself. She makes some for my other family members in the area. And it's literally the number one best sweet potato of all the lands. I've already said it. I stand by it. And my daughter, my oldest, she absolutely loves it. My mom also uses a recipe from my grandmother for rice pudding that we also do at the end of the year too. And that is also the number one rice pudding in all of the lands everywhere. <laughs> no matter what anyone says, I'm telling you, it is the best rice pudding and sweet potatoes you have ever tasted. Um, so I want to see how fresh sweet potatoes will go with her recipe that we've had for a really long time. I cannot make anything but the sweet potato because that one's a little bit more straightforward. However, with the rice pudding recipe, like I mentioned, that one is literally to taste and I feel like we have to summon the ancestors to get it. I cannot make it to save my life. It just ends up being sugar rice. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's where I'm gonna do with that. I won't need to put this under a light until it starts to have shoots like this guy does here but I will put it in an area that is still warm because it does want to be warm and I could just put it under a light just so that I don't have to worry about if it does hey bubble we're gonna play so that if it does end up starting growing shoots then I can have it already under lights and not miss that time frame and it ends up not growing as much thanks for watching see you in the next video bye guys